The world is already aware that some social media influencers live a life of secrets and deception. But what if I told you that one couple were so cripplingly deceptive that they ended up killing one another? When Kiana and Ronald Burns tied the knot in 2015, the celebration was filled with luxury. There was choreographed dancing, top-of-the-line food and service, and everything was professionally recorded for the whole world to see. What they didn't know, however, was that years later, their battered and bruised relationship would no longer be possible to hide, a fact that one of them in particular could not bear to become a reality. And tragically, it would end in the most violent way possible. Welcome back to Coffeehouse Crime, folks. My name is Adrian, and today you will see just how fake people can be online. Within this video, we're looking at the horrendous marriage of Kiana and Ronald Burns, and how their massive egos would slowly eat each other apart. By the way, if you're new here, I post videos like this up to two times a week, so if that does sound like your kind of thing, please consider subscribing. And now with that said, please grab yourself a coffee and let's caffeinate while we investigate. This is the case of the Burns family. Welcome to Atlanta, folks. As the capital of the Peach State, Atlanta is brimming with fun things to do. It also played an essential part in the Civil War and the 1960s Civil Rights Movement, so it's no surprise that this city is filled with cultural and historical significance. If you don't mind humid hot summers and enjoy mild winters, lots of green space, good food, and millennial vibes, then Atlanta may be a great place for you to live. That is, of course, if you can stomach its higher than average crime rate. In fact, the violent crime rate stands at 2.5 times higher than the national average. Either way, crime rate aside, let me tell you, the people of Atlanta were not ready for this story. Things in your life, good and bad, can change overnight, and sadly, this happened for the Burns family. On November the 6th, 2021, a distressing call was made to the authorities. Atlanta Police Department responded to find a married couple dead in their own home. It appeared that one of them had murdered the other before taking their own life. Kiana Burns, aged 44, and Ronald Burns, aged 46, were home alone when, just before 9pm, Kiana shot her husband and then herself. This story, much like any other murder, was an unbearable tragedy for everyone around them, especially for the eight children they left behind. Kiana and Ronald were well known in the area and even online. The so-called power couple owned several businesses together, and appeared to be very well off. This included a salon, a barbershop, and several online consultancies. And to add to that, the couple would often share their relationship online. Now, despite having eight children, all eight of them were thankfully out of the property at the time of the murder, and there were no other fatalities. But many questions did arise from their deaths, because for so many people, this made no sense whatsoever. I mean, they were madly in love with each other, had multiple kids, and successful businesses. And as far as anyone knew, they had no enemies either. So. How did this end in homicide-suicide? It was quickly established that Kiana shot her husband and then took her own life, and so with that information, what exactly transpired to force such a tragedy? Well, as always, I'm here to tell you that story, but first, I'm warning you, you better buckle up, because this one is absolutely wild. But first, let's travel back in time and cover the basics. Beginning with Kiana, she was born on September the 15th, 1977, and spent most of her young childhood living in Missouri. Kiana knew that she wanted more from the life she was born into, and so, after graduating from high school, she decided to study cosmetology. After enrolling into the local beautician school, resilience helped her start strong. She was deft with her hands, a quick learner, and, most importantly, already knew how to network with other beauticians. Shortly after completing her training, Training, she took her newfound skills and began her own cosmetology business, eventually naming it Critique Designs Beauty and Barber Salon. Now, despite having no official business training, Kiana was very savvy, and it didn't take long for her local community to catch on to her high-quality work. Over the years, she built up a network, 
first through family and friends, and then throughout the St. Louis community. And slowly but surely, over the next 20 years, her business became one of the most successful hair salons in St. Louis. With her full roster of employees at her two locations, and an even more extensive list of clientele, Kiana's business was literally booming. Moving over to the husband, Ronald Burns was born on May the 14th, 1975. He was tall, naturally athletic, and, at least in his own mind, was also a savvy businessman. Ronald attended Fashion High School, where basketball played a big part in his life. He competed in the 1994 state championship, and was also known to be a committed and competitive player. Perhaps it was his competitive spirit that pushed him to look for ways to better himself. While his wife Kiana was busy excelling in her own business, Ronald turned to multi-level marketing companies and other business scams to get himself off the ground. It was undisputable that despite his proclivity for shady work, Ronald knew how to network and build his circle. He tried everything to get ahead, and would even begin preaching Christianity at his own company, named For Glory's Ministry, to build his community and get his own name out to as many people as possible. So, this is where it begins to get interesting, but Kiana was not actually his first wife. It was only back in the year 2014 that Ronald was bankrupt and in a loveless marriage. He was unhappily married to Mrs. Avis Burns, and while he may have looked clean-cut and successful on the outside, the reality is that many of his previous business ventures had failed. In fact, Ronald would meet his first wife only after trying to scam her into one of his business ideas, which thankfully she declined at the time. Despite this, the two continued to message each other until things slowly heated up. At the time of meeting Avis, Ronald was already in another relationship. However, due to fate, or perhaps to his newfound interest in this new woman, that relationship quickly came to an end. And now, with that out the way, the two were finally free to see one another. However, despite four years of marriage and having two children together, cracks slowly began to form in their relationship. By the year 2014, they took to reality TV to broadcast their issues, which eventually led to their messy situation being shown on the American TV show Divorce Court. She was telling me when we got back home, I have a, a seven-year-old daughter that's not with her, that live with her, but she was telling me to find a babysitter for my seven-year-old daughter. I'm like, what would need a babysitter? You're a stay-at-home mom in my head, but I'm like, okay, maybe she want to get out with the girls or whatever, but I read this Facebook, she tried to get me to get a babysitter so she can go over some guy's house. And when I read all this, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, oh, I'm just going over the guy's house. Uh, we weren't going to do nothing. I'm like, y'all, you going to this house to play bingo? You going to play spades? Because, you know, you know, you don't need to go to this house to do that. Now, I won't pretend that Ronald was an innocent victim in this story, because, quite frankly, he was a real narcissist who routinely hurt others. During this TV show, he openly admitted to cheating on his wife, and although it's not actually known who it was with, many speculate it was already with Kiana. His ex-wife was also fairly swift to reveal that he was terrible with all financial decisions. I mean, apparently, he couldn't hold a full-time job down and ran her credit cards into the thousands. Ronald gravitated towards Kiana after this. After all, she was a real go-getter and, unlike him, had a real business under her belt. As for Kiana, well, she was attracted to his confidence, his swagger, and his ability to build a network around him. The two genuinely believed that they could build an empire together, and so, with that in mind, his next serious relationship was born. Soon enough, the two were married, and on September the 13th, 2015, their families officially became one. And, as you can probably imagine, no expense was spared at their wedding. The two rented a fancy reception hall, invited everyone they could think of, and ate, drank, and danced late into the night. And with two absolutely massive egos, you bet they had to make a huge deal out of it. From an outsider's perspective, Kiana and Ronald appeared to be an unstoppable force, blending two families effortlessly and venturing into joint business endeavors together. Now, initially, Kiana's money and Ronald's expertise seemed to be a winning combination. Yet, as time elapsed, all of their business ventures would eventually collapse, ultimately leaving only Kiana's cosmetology business afloat. Now, despite Ronald's lack of financial contribution, he would project an air of success. Their social media painted a picture of luxury and happiness, which in consequence masked their actual financial struggles. 
And that's because, behind the facade of marital bliss and affluence, lay the damning reality of their own financial instability. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, but social media is a monster that takes no prisoners. Those who feel the need to float their success and luxury are usually the most insecure of people, right next to those who feel the need to post a selfie every single day. And no surprise, the Burns couple were no different. Their happy facade was actually paper thin, and only just thick enough to fool those looking in to be filled with envy. For example, on May the 6th, 2020, Kiana posted on Instagram to say, Listen up everyone, so yesterday, my husband decided to surprise me with this. A Maserati Levante. My life is unbelievable. Other posts included expensive nights out, family photos outside of their large home, self-righteous captions, and her posing in expensive outfits with her hair, makeup, and nails beautifully arranged. On the flip side, Ronald would constantly post about his business ventures, simultaneously portraying his endeavors as wildly successful. The couple would also behave as devout Christians, often referencing Bible passages and acts of Jesus that related to whatever post they uploaded at the time. It didn't stop there either. The couple would also post pictures inside their luxurious mansion, showing off their wealth and family life in full to the public. Pictures posing in front of the house, on vacation, with cars, or at fancy events. It was all there for everyone to see. However, the reality of this situation was far from what they posted, and despite their best efforts to appear as successful influencers. Behind closed doors, the two struggled more than anyone else around them. For his own part, Ronald had been working for Primerica for several years now, a well-known marketing insurance company that preys on lower to middle class families. He was actually quite infamous for trying to rope his friends, family, and even members of his parish into this scheme, in an effort to build his status. When the money did come in, his income was never enough to keep the family afloat. In fact, divorce courts back from 2014 show that he couldn't even afford $250 monthly payments. But now, in this new marriage with Kiana, Ronald had access to her business and, sadly, of course, all of her money. In his overconfident and dysfunctional mind, Ronald believed that all he needed to do was to use Kiana's money to lift himself off the ground. And if he was able to do that, then he could propel both of them further up the food chain. And so, with dollar signs in his eyes, Ronald used his wife's hard-earned money to finally fund the business ventures that he had always dreamed of. Soon after this, his social media pages showcased his financial consultancy companies, two of which were named Six Figure ambition and legacy financial solutions, and depicted his family living in the upper echelon of success. Many of these photos online showed the couple posing with merchandise and attending many conferences, peppered in with, apparently, dozens of legitimate testimonials from happy customers. However, it does not take much digging to realize that these posts were not telling the whole story. Because, in reality, all Ronald was actually doing was sucking his wife's beauty business dry of money, using all of the finances she had built over the years to fund his crackpot advisement firms. Hi, I'm Ronald Burns, and this is my lovely wife, Kiana Burns. Hi. Today, we're going to talk to you about entrepreneurship and how it greatly benefited our life. For those that don't know, my husband and myself, we've been entrepreneurs for the last 20 years. And our mission is to bring you guys along to become successful entrepreneurs as well. And in being in business over 20 years, guys, one of the fundamental things that we believe is that you should never spend all of your business time building somebody else's business. You should be in a position of leverage income where you make money that doesn't require your time because you only have 24 hours in a day. And if you're spending all of your 24 hours building another man's business, you'll never own your own that you can pass down to your kids. We look forward to teaching you. Now, it's important to remember that Ronald and Kiana were not young adults with no responsibilities. And between them, they were not responsible for just one or two, but eight children. Despite the pressure to address the financial situation more realistically, they were unwilling to compromise their public image as a thriving power couple. For Kiana and Ronald, their identity as an ultra-successful couple was deeply tied to their pride and their self-worth. That is how everyone knew them, and at this point, they would do anything to keep that facade. They truly believed that they could fake it until they made it. 
Comments found on their YouTube, Facebook and Instagram were filled with people commending them as a powerful couple. With hard work, ambition and faith, you can do it too. That was the message they constantly pushed to their audience. It is obvious that both Ronald and Kiana were too full of themselves to ever face the reality of their worsening situation. In fact, their arrogance would even go as far as to self-produce a fake reality TV series, in which they aptly called their show Meet the Burns. America, you ain't gonna wanna miss this. This is my wife, Kiana. Mrs. Byrne. Hey, this show is gonna start and it's gonna be exciting. Hey, son, you all right? Hi, baby, how you doing? Daddy. Every single episode is gonna be exciting, full of action, impact. We talking big business. We talking about big family. Meet the birds. Get off my couch. You know better than that, right? Hey, so like I said, we're going to be taking from every angle. Business, family, business. Hey, now you know, get away the Kool-Aid and carpet. Do not mix. Now, despite this, whatever money Ronald was managing to make was quickly swallowed by their over-the-top lifestyle and their desire to appear as something they quite simply were not. In fact, their spending habits and absurd lifestyle got them to the point that, by the end of 2019, the two were entirely over their heads. On December the 19th, 2019, Kiana and Ronald Burns officially filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. In this type of bankruptcy, the couple had to liquidate some of their assets to discharge the debt that they owed. In the end, they ended up forfeiting nearly $20,000 of their own personal belongings. And while this may sound like a decent chunk of change, the debt they were facing was actually far more significant. Over the four years of their marriage, Kiana and Ronal had racked up over $500,000 of debt. Not even Kiana's beauty business could pull them back from this ledge, thus leading them to file for bankruptcy. As the fire raged below, burning their finances and livelihood, above deck, Ronal and Kiana sailed on as if nothing was wrong. The two continued to portray themselves as a happy family and successful business owners, when, in reality, this did nothing to keep them afloat. By now, they were nothing more than con artists and liars. To pivot and keep up the charade, Ronald decided that it would be smart for the family to move to a bigger city so he could con more people. Which, by the way, was one of the dumbest business decisions ever made. I mean, not only was Kiana's business based in their hometown, but it was the primary income for the family. But sadly, Kiana agreed to this rather ridiculous proposal, and in the year 2021, the Burns family moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Although most families may have chosen to be more selective and humble with their moving costs, Ronald and Kiana were not prepared to do that. Instead, they rented out a luxurious five-bedroom, seven-bathroom mansion in the wealthy suburb of Sandy Springs. Not that they would make it evident they were renting. Instead, they would even tell their followers that they had bought the house outright with the money they had made through their businesses. Once again, the Burns family appeared on top of the world, and now the cars, the clothing, and the fake smiles had a mansion to go with it. Despite Ronald's best efforts to keep his business afloat in the big city, the appetite simply wasn't there. I mean, to be quite blunt with you, six-figure ambition and legacy financial solutions were bullshit businesses to begin with, and a move to a bigger city was never going to change that. But finances were no longer the only thing troubling the family. Kiana was finding it very hard to adjust to her new environment. Her entire social circle and business were back in St. Louis and so she felt completely isolated from her friends and her family. And behind closed doors, the couple's relationship continued to fall apart. It seemed like the fake lives they were living on the outside were finally catching up with them, and that is when some really tough allegations surfaced between the pair. Apparently, Ronald had once again begun to cheat on his wife. Things were already beginning to get extremely tough for Kiana. For a while, it seemed as if Ronald didn't really care about her anymore, but only cared about her money. And now, she was also faced with infidelity. In a now-deleted video that was posted online, Ronald spoke about his relationship and complained of the hardships in his marriage, both of which ultimately led to a near divorce. 
Now, this sudden negativity was quite the surprise for many of his followers. However, it did offer a glimpse of the man that Ronald really was. I guess about seven months ago, something like that, seven months, six, seven months ago, uh, when my wife and myself, we decided we was going to get a divorce, um, that we ain't going to be with each other no more. Um, it was just, we were just done with each other. Uh, we go, we done with each other. We both came to that conclusion, but let's not impact everybody like this around us because we just decided we don't want to be together no more. Let's not do that. So I said, let's have a conversation. And we took out a piece of paper, we drew a line down the middle of it, and we talked about how the business was going to go, how we was going to divide the business, uh, and, and, and she go her way, and I go my way, but we didn't want to compromise and jeopardize everybody else's future because we was tripping. Let's not destroy our businesses. Let's not tear each other's name down. Let's not do none of that because there's kids, there's family members, there's moms and everything that we plan on retiring one day, and just because we decided we don't like each other no more, we're going to forfeit all that. We're going to mess up that for everybody. Now, we got to figure out a way how we can work together, be divorced, go our separate ways, know at some point we're going to get remarried to somebody else, but keep sustaining what we promise the people that's dependent on us. This video was actually quite telling. On the surface, it appeared that he had a complex understanding of his faith, marriage, and his business. But listening closely to the context of his message, it became clear that he had no idea what he was talking about. Now out of love and out of money, the two were entirely disillusioned with one another, and now that they both felt alone, the pressure of their fake facades was beginning to mount up. Now, whether she wanted to admit it or not, but Kiana needed to get out of that marriage, and although it's not clear when exactly it happened, she began her own affair shortly after moving to Atlanta. What's ironic here is that Ronald, who was already cheating on his wife, found this too much to handle and shortly after finding out, he filed for divorce. In fact, these court documents dated October the 19th, 2021, show that Ronald filed for divorce, citing her infidelity as a reason for the split. And in the meanwhile, most of their friends and family were completely unaware of this happening. Maybe Ronald preferred to keep things quiet. Maybe it's because he knew that if he was loud about it, he wouldn't look very good. But either way, Kiana was a different story and looking at her social media, it was clear that something was amiss. To begin with, she stopped mentioning Ronald and her marriage on Facebook, and then shortly after September, she would only post selfies to gain attention. She would even post videos of her at the club, where, no surprise, her husband was nowhere in sight. However, perhaps the most noticeable change happened on October the 20th, 10 days after Ronald filed for divorce. Within this video, and in a rare slip from her always positive content, Kiana went live on Facebook to talk about something much more serious. The bright smile that she often expressed was now replaced with an exhausted, concerned woman. It became obvious that she was not in a good place, leading some to worry about her. I'm asking you one thing, because I really need it right now. I need prayer. I need prayer. I need strength. I need love. I do. Stay encouraged. I'm going to go in my home, go in my little prayer room. I'm going to talk to God. Y'all pray for me. And I promise I'm going to keep praying for everybody else that need encouragement. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Her sudden outburst never improved over the following days. Just three days later, on October the 23rd, she posted, God knows I would do anything to wake up from this nightmare. Hashtag God I need strength. Sometimes people put up walls not to keep others out, but to see who cares enough to break them down. God over everything. Kiana was clearly on the verge of breaking down. There were too many things pressuring her in her life, and now she needed to escape from the hell that she was so clearly experiencing daily. Not only were her family and her business multiple states away, but her financial kingdom had crumbled, and her husband no longer loved her. Kiana thoroughly believed that there was no way out of this nightmare, and tragically, this would end in the worst way imaginable. On November the 6th, 2021, and in Atlanta's suburb of Sandy Springs, a calm evening stillness was ripped apart when a commotion was heard from the Burns residence. Neighbors could hear shouting coming from the property, and that is when they heard multiple gunshots. 
According to Sergeant Salvador Ortega, authorities responded to a domestic violence call from one of the Burns family's daughters. And shortly after that call, a second one came in from Kiana herself. Kiana confessed that she had just shot her husband and asked police for assistance as soon as possible. However, by the time they got there, she had shot herself too. Although she was still breathing when the first officers arrived and life-saving measures were attempted, it sadly was all too late. Neither Kiana or Ronald survived through that night. While the details of what really happened within that house are still quite a mystery, it is clear that Kiana and Ronald were arguing when she then pulled a gun. What happened next left everyone in complete disbelief. The ending to this story is absolutely tragic. An overconfident, promiscuous conman had taken everything he could from his wife, who was too proud and angry to let him go. The result was the death of the both of them. Their paper-thin reputation was shredded in an instant, and all of a sudden, everyone online could see them for exactly who they were. In a way, Ron and Kiana never really lost that facade. Right up until the moment they died, they were able to hide their secrets and lies from everyone. But was it really worth it? Well, the answer is absolutely not. And now, eight children will grow up without a mother or a father. Thankfully, none of them were at home at the time of this terrible tragedy, and all eight children are still living with their own families for the time being. To wrap things up here, the lives of Kianda and Ronald were nothing but a never-ending series of highly orchestrated deceptions. The saying, fake it till you make it, may work for some, but only for a short while. And eventually, it will catch up to you. And for these two massive egos, they would slowly eat each other apart. Before you go though, I'd like to know what you think about this one, because yeah, I know I say this all the time, but this story was absolutely insane. So as always, let me know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to support the channel, get early access to my videos and get additional content, then check out my Patreon here. Alternatively, check me out on social media, most notably my Instagram here. Thank you again for watching, and as always, see you again very soon for another one. Until that moment arrives though, remember to look after yourself, look after each other, and as always, stay safe. Thank you, and goodbye.